When you look at me just like I'm yours Yeah I never felt like this before You make me feel the way I ain't feel in a minute I feel like I'm living when I'm looking at you, baby Never felt like this before You gave me butterflies in my tummy like you Just give me love and love Welcome back to my channel for today's video. We are super excited It's our first video on our vlog channel, which I'm really excited about But we are actually going to be bringing you guys along to our very first doctor's appointment and Lisa has finally decided to make an appearance She finally decided to invite me guys. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody thank was you. starting to think that I made this baby by myself I mean, I was waiting for the invite, but you know, since Bunk is so independent, she feels like, you know, I just she don't need to include me. But the people have spoken. <laughs> the people have spoken. They're starting to be worried. Like, I wonder if he lost his shit and she was acting up in the pregnancy. The Possibly. Fight. You're going to have a lot of time to talk right now. <laughs> so, for today's video, See, we are... <laughs> I'm limited to words. <laughs> we are going to be bringing you guys along to our very first appointment. And it's going to be short and sweet. Let's bring you guys along on how it was. And then we'll chat with you guys at the end. To just let you guys know kind of where we're at. How Lisa is feeling. Because you guys already know how I'm feeling. And how our first doctor's appointment was. The moment of truth, babe. What? The moment of truth. Mm -hmm. You look good. Okay. Here we are, guys. Here we are. So today is our first visit to the what is it? The OBGYN. Yeah, so pretty much like the first two pregnancies, guys, I wasn't really as present with like the appointments and stuff. I used to miss a lot of them. Not so much with Camila, but for Max for sure. So, we gotta be here for the first one, you know? <laughs> so, we'll see how it goes when we get inside. So, first step, one could just weigh yourself, I think, right? right? Now they're gonna. Let's see how much I weigh after this. So right now they're just gonna ask you a couple of questions, right? Yeah. For somebody that's never been through it. I do my blood pressure. Blood pressure and a few questions, right? Which I usually have no blood pressure, so I'm wondering what my blood pressure looks like right now. I can explain why I'm always lightheaded. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, yeah, it's nothing to do with pregnancy. No, I'm fine. Oh no. Nothing. Any nausea and vomiting at this time? Yes. Okay. Are both. you trying both? Is it so severe that you have a hard time gaining weight? No. Nobody is smoked that on you at home. No. Right? Any allergies to medication? No. And except your needle, are you using anything else? No. No? Okay. Alright guys, we're officially inside the Office room. <laughs> I can see your butt. I can see your butt. Lisa is new here. Feels like the first time all over again. It's not our first rodeo, huh? That's how it feels. It feels like it's our first rodeo, though. Yeah. It's been a minute. So for somebody that's never been here, what is this like? What are they doing today? Um. So because I don't have a belly yet, well. The baby's not big enough to be detected with the other ultrasound. They're gonna stick that thing, that big ass thing, which I'm, which I'm used to it. Babe. <laughs> they're gonna stick that big ass thing inside of me, um, and they're gonna detect the baby's heartbeat and the ultrasound through that. And hopefully, we do get a heartbeat because with Max, I mean with Camila, we didn't get a heartbeat until nine weeks. We came to the six week or seven week and there was just an empty sack and I was like so nervous but we didn't get a heartbeat until after so hopefully we get a heartbeat today but I'm about eight weeks now so we should be good
two at first. And then you see, we're like separating it. We had an Italy baby, guys. A baby in Italy. You guys called it. I still <laughs> remember the day. The due date, yeah. Yeah. And then, like, at first we were scared because it was like two heads, but oh my it's, God. it's one. Okay. Well, guys, day we one. Can find out, we can find out in 11 weeks what we're having with the blood test. You want to know what you're having? Yeah, we should. So, you don't want to do a gender reveal? No, we can know and then we'll just do the gender reveal for our family. Really? We'll find out together. Thank you. Okay, no? let's try it different this time. Mm -hmm. So I'm super excited to bring Lisa's along and share with you guys how he set me up and knocked me up. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> it's so easy to blame, you know, when you guys haven't heard the whole story. You guys haven't heard the whole story. They have, story. babe. They've heard it a couple of times. Sorry, yeah. that it was me. I initiated it. Yo, Everybody yeah. knows. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yes. At least so. You so we're super excited. Obviously, our first doctor's appointment went really well. Um, we're when we recorded that we were about eight, nine weeks pregnant or so. Um, it's been quite the journey. I feel like we didn't intend for us to like wait this long to like actually share the news with you guys, but she we're just was freaking the baby for a long time. Yeah, I actually, you want me to be honest with you guys? In the beginning, I was thinking about just like giving birth and being like, hi. <laughs> Here's my baby pulling a Kylie moment, but there was just no way that I was gonna be able to do that I'm just too antsy like I just want to share everything with you guys that there was just no way that I would be able to not like I couldn't keep it from you guys Yeah, yeah, like remember I kept telling you guys like I just want I kept saying I just want to like Post it already so I can like just let everybody know like I was literally getting so anxious that I kept telling Elisa I'm just gonna go on Instagram post on my story and be like hi guys. I'm pregnant. Yeah, and then the family <laughs> was starting to catch on in a way to an extent yeah. That we just can't keep it away. So yeah, she just I already knew it was gonna happen this way. She was just gonna randomly like yeah. decide to tell people little by little and then that's gonna make you wanna tell more people. And then sure enough, I think when we went to Stockton, that's when we announced. Yeah, and it was just like super spontaneous. But we filmed it before we left, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think it was just more because I wanted to really just enjoy the pregnancy. But you guys already know how I feel. But how are you feeling, babe? You're gonna be a dad again for the third time. I've been feeling tired. I'm yeah, because you're carrying this child, huh? Because <laughs> you're the one carrying this baby. Uh, no, nah, it's cool. <laughs> I mean, um, I uh, obviously it took us by surprise, but I think the way it happened, it was something that, you know, I feel like it's just meant to be. Mm -hmm. When in Rome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I to say that. He's like telling everybody. When in Rome, when in Rome. that shit went over my head. Elisa's like, oh my god, Elisa. felt like a gladiator. I know. <laughs> It's like the best thing that could have ever happened to yeah. like Uli says he's never gonna be able to get rid of this story. We're gonna like, have to give we go to the baby Spain. I mean we go an to Italian Europe. Italian name. We go to the baby Europe. Just has to have an Italian name at this point. Yeah, we go to Europe for the first time and then he makes me a baby and he thinks he's like God or something. I'm a Roman king. <laughs> no, I'm playing. I'm kidding, but I mean whatever you know. Like past that, you know, she kind of already was teasing me with the idea that like name when you're pregnant. And I just said, I mean, I've heard this before, just wait. And then she just was quiet for a little while, and then she took a test straight enough. But, you know, of course, like, we're happy. We love being parents. I mean, we, we I don't think we ever planned to go past two, but it's not like we were stopping ourselves, like, from, from that. Yeah, we weren't taking care of ourselves. Like, we so never we planned babies like that, guys. Like, yeah. we, we just don't. So well, Max, we did. We did plan Max. Max well, yeah, we plan. decided to say, okay, yeah. we're trying, but it's not right. like... Like, we don't just sit here and say, oh, today we're going to try to have a baby. Like, oh, right. that's, that's just not <laughs> how we do it. And I think if you want to have kids, you shouldn't even be planning that anyways. Like, I think happen. too many people follow that chart, and, and it just becomes like a job almost. So, I mean, yeah. I think when... when and, we, st and stress, too. It's like, stressful, you don't yeah. Know, yeah. Like, how could it not have happened if we did it on this day? Like, I mean, who knows? Like, we just, we just, you know, did what we did, and then sure enough, we got blessed with a baby. So, we'll, we'll see. I mean... Just like any pregnancy, I think you just want to make sure everything's good. So, you know, I've been... We went to what? Two appointments? One appointment I've been. Two already. Two, yeah. You've they're been kind to of two. far apart, You've been too. to two of them too already, close. yeah. And sometimes they're just over the phone for her, but... Yeah, but it's nice to have Lisa's kind of be a little bit more 
a part of the pregnancy because not that he wasn't present before and i and i also didn't mind it either because mm -hmm. he used to work so much guys and you guys remember it was always me and yvette at all the appointments or me by myself you know so like now that Ulises is home more because he has more flexibility since now he's not at the shop 24 7 it's nice to be able to just be like hey babe i have an appointment on monday like you're gonna come so it's it's a little bit different um obviously like i told him like the first two babies that we had like i wasn't like oh my god you're not gonna be on my appointments with me he always went to the first appointment and then after that i went to my own appointments mm -hmm. but i feel like now it's nice to just be able to like have him be a little bit more present and really him i guess seeing what like my symptoms how i'm feeling what i'm going through he's definitely experiencing it a little bit more because like with the other babies it was just kind of like me and text, yeah. yeah it was just kind of like me and yvette and it was just like babe i don't feel good babe this and he was just at work and then when he would get home he'd go to sleep so like he really wouldn't see even when i would throw up like it was always like yvette in the bathroom like bringing me a water bottle like are you okay and like i would stay really up late at night so like he was so tired because he was working so much that he was just in his own little world when i was pregnant so like now it's like a different experience for yeah. both of us because say, you're seeing it a lot too. i say when camila came i already had thought to myself okay i have to take it easier so i think i started only working yeah. three days which was thursday friday saturday so i would have like half of that saturday off sunday off monday tuesday and then i'd go back wednesday oh, actually no even wednesday i would have off so that was a big deal for me but since i knew i was gonna move i already figured like if i'm gonna stop i gotta start getting used to being home so camila was like the first time that i was home more but i think for sure from that point till now like i'm definitely used to just working remotely if i have to i mean i feel like i prioritize the family a lot so i mean yeah. that comes first but i mean what i do now doesn't really require like you need to be of at an office all day every day you know yeah so like you put a good amount of work for a period of time and then you can chill and then work on other stuff so thankfully now you know things are underway and and I'm not worried about that side of it because at least I know that I'll be able to help here. And, you know, she's become a little more codependent on that, too. So um, I think it just works out in terms of, like, you having the help, you know. Yeah. And, of course, your mom is here. So we're just like a team, you know. Yeah. And then even the kids are going to want to help. So that's fun. That's the biggest thing, too, that I've noticed. The kids are so excited. They're like, excited. They're, the, they're, they're the ones yeah. that make me the happiest, too, because, like, their excitement and i love like i we never experienced that with mm -hmm. max because he was a baby when I, we had well, max and camila plus we didn't experience yeah. like them knowing that they were both babies yeah like I mean? max didn't know like he's like wait a minute i'm a baby close. you know that was very fast like we we kind of blew by a lot of camila's development and then now she's starting to shine a little bit more because she's coming into her own personality but um it took her a minute to even you know get out of that but so they're excited and i feel like they're gonna help us a lot too yeah um I can already imagine, you know, by the time the baby comes, they'll both be a little more mature, too. But I think yeah. Max will almost be five. Come and, like, they four. really know, too. Like, yeah. I, even though, like, to me, they're still, like, babies, like, they really just know. Mm -hmm. Like, they see other babies, and they're like, look, mommy, it's a yeah. baby. It's like, they know. I mean, for know. sure, Max is going to be already, like, super, super alert. And Camila's, like, right behind yeah. him because by the time she's his age. And at four, for sure, you start to notice them doing, yeah. be more aware and, and talking more and remembering things. So... They're, well, gonna, they're, gonna, they're gonna get a lot of responsibility with the baby well even max yesterday was funny he was like yeah. mommy when is the baby getting here and then i was like we still have a couple of months he was like go to the, yeah, doctor, like, to the doctor take him out i I'm was like, like yeah let's go to the doctor and have the baby right now yeah. yeah so they're just funny you know they 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 know did you tell them the story about that um the other night that it was like late and then max was waking up no yeah, i haven't, no, I haven't so said funny. anything so um okay so max we transitioned them to their room already and they've yeah. been in there but they have their nights where they still get up to our room and they'll still come in so what I told mm -hmm. Elisa is like it's gonna be hard for us for a little bit, but we have to take them back to their room. Camila, not so, so much. Once yeah, Cam Camila. no, Camila, she's like, I want to be in my room. I want to be in my room. Max is the one. She didn't come until six in the morning. Yeah, Max. So she lasted all night. Max is the one that's like more like he wants to be with his mommy all day. Mm -hmm. So um, I took Max back to the room, and then they didn't want to go to sleep. That they were both tossing and turning, and then I would get up, and then so Max was hugging me, and then I would get up. And then he would like right away panic, like, Mommy, where are you going? Yeah, yeah. You know? So then I was There's like, damn. Sleep. I was like, damn, like, I need to really let him knock out. So I was just there for how long? And it was already like two in the morning. Then I was on my phone, like, trying to like keep myself entertained so I wouldn't knock out with him. So then I was like, maybe if I take his arm off of me so he's not hugging me, when I move, he won't feel me. So then I 
took his arm off and then i was like max stop hugging mommy i was like turn around go to sleep i'll hug you you know so then he was like no i want to hug mommy you know then i was like i was like max turn around like i was already getting a little like like aggravated like max turn around so i can hug you you know because he wasn't listening to me he was just like i want to hug you i want to hug you so then he turns around he finally ends up turning around and then i was like max i said i'm gonna hug you and then he was like mommy i just want to hug my baby and then i was like oh my goodness like yeah. he just made me feel so bad i told him, he was like i literally wanted to cry because he said he was basically saying like i don't even want to hug you i just want to hug my baby like i'm trying to yeah. hug my little baby yeah. and you guys are going to be hearing him saying like brother a lot especially throughout a lot of the video because he Ulises got him saying that we, it's gonna be a little boy. It's be, Ulises it's, is team boy. It's, it's because it's because like I was asking both of them, and then obviously Camila would say sister, and then yeah. Max would say brother. But in the beginning, Max was saying sister, and yeah. then they just they just compete with each other. But like, then at the end, what they he say. ended up saying that my baby's a brother. He's like my baby. There's a boy in there. There's a, even when we were I'm um, telling Carlos what we were having. And then he was fighting with Carlos, and he was like, no, it's a brother, it's a brother. And then Carlos yeah. was like, it's a girl, it's a girl. So Max is team boy, Ulises is his team boy, and then me and Camila are team girls. We're like, yeah. we're trying to outnumber these these boys. Yeah. We'll see what happens. I mean, I'd like a a, a girl for Camila, but... Um, I told Ulises for really like... There's really a lot of girl energy in the house, so I'm just not sure. <laughs> a lot of female energy. You know what I mean? Like, tired. like <laughs> as it is, guys, like moving away from home and stuff, like I already don't really associate like when i go out with with the boys anything like that like yeah. i really don't do that and I, I don't care either like at times because i like being alone but when i'm home it's a lot of girl energy too like camila me Blanca's, my mom Blanca's karina there's a lot of female energy you know so like i like having another girl it's like a lot you know what i mean <laughs> and then max he just me, wants a boy yeah and then a boy's just a lot easier and it's like you know the, I told the, the, the name lives on the legacy the last name so yeah. that's cool. I mean, I feel like, you know, it, it's definitely it would be a lot easier for you because boys are just easier. Yeah. Well, that's what Girls I was saying. are a lot. Like, it's a lot to deal with. <laughs> you know what I mean? So. This is why I can never have, like, this never lets me talk. <laughs> He's just like, well, you said that you want me to talk today, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was telling Lisa that um, for selfish reasons, I feel like, like me, I'm, I'm team healthy baby no matter what, you know, but. For selfish reasons, I feel like, yes, boys are easier. And, like, if I was to have another boy, I would definitely not mind. You guys always remember, I've always told you guys that I always saw myself being a boy mom. Like, I don't know why I always saw myself with boys. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't know if that makes sense. So, for selfish reasons of how easy boys are, because they really are, um, I would love a boy. But I feel like for, like, unselfish reasons, like, for my daughter, I would want to give her a sister. And I feel like that's one thing that, like, I kept telling Elisa that I was like... If it's a boy, we're gonna have to try for baby number four, babe, because I need to give Camila a sister. Like, I have a daughter now, and I feel like the bond that sisters have, like, I'm sorry, baby, you're never gonna understand that. Like, I love my sisters. My sisters mm -hmm. are everything. My sisters are my best friends. My sisters, like, I can have no friends, and if I have my sisters, that's all that I care about. That's all that I want in my life, just having my sisters. So, I want to give Camila that, you know? Like, I want to be able to have Camila experience that, so no pressure. Mm -hmm. so we'll see i mean as far as the sex goes like that's yeah, where we're sure. at with it but i mean our families are excited we're excited um long is starting to show a lot more so that's nice um i mean really as far as for me i, I don't i mean I, i'm not gonna you know i can't really say that I'm feeling anything because apparently Blanca says I can't feel shit. No, so, because he's not carrying a child. I'm not. I'm not feeling. But guys do. There is a, a conspiracy around the fact that guys do feel something. Oh, this um, is like I think I'm craving. I'm like, I'm, no, you're just it's, a it's, it's, not, it's not even the craving <laughs> part. But if I think about something, then yeah, I'm like, oh, that sounds good, you know. But yeah. I've, I'm, I'm, I'm disciplined enough to not be like super crazy with stuff. Yeah. Like I'll still be if Blanca says like something about like let's say Taco Bell. I'm like, mm, I don't know. Like you know. Oh, I jack of the box tacos I had the other day. See, imagine I was like entertaining it. We we be eating that all the time. I know he actually doesn't entertain it, yeah. but I told him this pregnancy, like I actually wanted to like. She holds take, back too. I feel. I hold back a lot. Sure, I feel like she holds back. I hold a back lot. a lot because I hate being like the only fat one here. Like like I hold back when it's with Elisa. So when it's like with Ivan Karina, like we're always like eating and picking out i feel like i hold back a lot with ulises but then it makes me mad because then like ulises doesn't care and then he eats like 
he eats so much and then i'm over here like starving like i want to be like a skinny queen so like i'm over here like holding myself back so lisa doesn't judge me because like i have really bad eating habits but then he like eats for like 12 you know i do eat a lot <laughs> But, I mean, then I'm over here to, like, you, but you came to the conclusion that I just like a he lot eats of food. a lot, but he eats a lot of food, and it's usually a lot of good food. I eat, but it's always a lot of bad choices. Like I yeah. eat fatty food. Like I like. She to will eat. not gravitate towards the good meal. Yeah, like, uh, like Ulysses like, would want like tres platos enchiladas and shit, and then like I would be like three large pepperonis, you know. Yeah. So it's like our our food habits like, are if different. If I think about a nice like. Like, okay, let's have this little solid dinner. She'll be like, we should just get a pizza. Yeah. And I'm just like, bread with pepperoni? No. It doesn't sound good. Yeah. Like, it doesn't do anything for me. That's okay if I'm like, last option, I need a quick bite, but it's not like I like dinner. carby food, like pastas yeah. and yeah. like... And that's cool too. I like it, but like, I can't have it all the time. Yeah. The pasta. But you don't feel like it's too much carbs at some time? You eat too much pasta or bread? No. I love no. it. But this time, remember, babe, we said that we're trying to be healthier because I was 200 pounds with Camila. I've been remembering. I don't know about you. And she doesn't eat. She hasn't even I, been eating, guys. I, I was honest. just going to say that. I haven't even ate Like, you anything. gotta remind Blanca to eat and she'll still lag it. Like, no, she'll still but, be... Like, right now, we're supposed to eat and then you still haven't even eaten. No, but, babe, I have been really sick. This, yeah. this, like, okay, I've been really sick from just being pregnant and I've been really sick from, like, colds and stuff. And I haven't, like, nothing. Lisa's like, what do you want to eat? And I'm like... I know, but you know, I try to push her that she has butter. to eat no matter what. I don't even care if she feels some type of way because fruit. at the end of the day, you got to feed fruit. the baby. The baby has to fruit. eat, and even though you feel this way, like once you eat, you're going to be like, okay, I was hungry, or okay, that was okay. <laughs> like you got to get the feelings out of it in a way, you know, yeah. and just get the meal. So if I have to take it, if her mom has to take her something, like I, every time her mom asks me, you know, ask Bonka if she wants this, I'm like, don't even ask her, just make it. Yeah. And she's going to have to eat it. I mean, you have no choice, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 But we're just excited, guys. We're really excited. I'm glad that you guys yeah. were able to get Lisa's um, just point of view. Mm -hmm. And we're obviously going to be doing Vlogmas this year. So we are going to be vlogging and sharing just a lot of different vlogs this um, coming next 25 days. So you guys are going to be getting a lot of content from us and just seeing us with our journey, our baby, um, the kids, everything that's been going on. And I feel like I haven't really done that in a long time. The vlogmas, yeah. Yeah, no, just like vlogging in general, like vlogging. sharing like this life with you guys. So I'm excited. I'm excited to bring you guys along and yeah. We're excited for to, baby number three. I'm going to have to just, uh, we're going to have to do a season finale for the podcast and just talk about the baby. So oh, I have a, an hour cute. to talk about it since you only gave me like 10 minutes here. You? <laughs> I'm kidding, but you say I talk a lot. I'm just Lisa joking. Lisa does like, talk a lot. Lisa's over here oh trying God, to give everybody guys. a podcast while he's Lisa's on the video. Lisa talks so much, guys, but like I like... I know that he t he talks a lot of shit. Like he, you know, like he loves to talk a lot of shit about how like I don't listen, I don't pay attention, and all this stuff. But I listen. I listen a lot. Hey, I'm not the only one that says that. So I listen more a people, lot. One more person says it. No, it I'm a very good listener, but I can only listen to the story one time. I cannot listen to the same story ten times. Lisa's, and then like Lisa's, this is the thing that I'll listen. He'll be like, babe, so I'm working on right, and then I'm like, oh, okay, that's cool. And then Karina gets here, and he's like, Karina. Let me tell you <laughs> da, 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 Same story Eve, Oh my god I didn't even share this with you Look at look at look da, 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 da. It's on the phone Oh Tommy Yeah so I don't know if you da, da, da. I heard See? the story Five times now Back to the point that there's no boys here Five so times <laughs> Five times. So my wife doesn't care. And listen. then we go to bed, and then we're like pillow time, right? And then like I'm on my phone, like I'm about to watch like a little Lifetime movie or something. And then he's like, "Babe, did da -da -da -da. I was like, "Yeah, babe, you, I heard it five what, times though? today." You know what? It is because her opinion matters, and I think she doesn't see that. She just thinks I'm telling the fucking story ten times. Maybe something <laughs> developed within that time in the morning from the night. Damn it. So maybe something. I'm still else gonna came continue up. to listen to you and be yeah. here for you and motivate you, encourage you, be your support system, tell you that you can do it and anything. Is possible and i'm gonna be here no matter what but stop telling people that i don't listen because i over listen i know everything i know everything happening in your life you, everything blanco listen and then everything. like halfway in the combo she'll like <laughs> everything she'll, i know everything she'll, that's she'll, happening she'll, 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 she's like no, a selective listener you know <laughs> I, we only, gotta do the ick video we do 
we're gonna do an ick video. Maybe we could do it as a vlog because we're gonna have a lot to we'll talk about. It's not gonna be long enough for TikTok. We're gonna do the ick um, like vlogmas edition or some shit. Oh, that'd be cute. Since it's already part of vlogmas, right? Yeah. Okay, we could just do it. Okay. It sounds like that, but Tell me yeah. Me. No. <laughs> okay guys so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video thank you guys all so much for watching we rambled a lot but we're excited guys we're happy um we are just ready to start this journey and yeah like i said you guys are going to be seeing 25 days of us so i hope you guys enjoy and see us for vlogmas um and we'll see you guys on our next video see you guys, Love you guys. thank you <laughs> <laughs> tonight the way you look at me just like i'm yours yeah i never felt like this before you make me feel the way i feel in a minute i feel like i'm living when i'm looking at you baby never felt like this before you gave me butterflies